first things first. Win number 400. How does it feel? It feels terrible. <laughs> the way we play tonight, Jesus, man. I don't care about the, the other 399. Thanks, buddy. I don't care about the, the uh, 399. I just care about how we're playing today. We just didn't play well tonight. But I guess, you know, when, when I was going for 300, my son was playing for me. And they brought a cake to celebrate. We lost four straight games. And then no one ever thought we were going to get to 300. So at least... You know, it was one for one for, uh, for going for 400. So, again, I, I think it's a testimonial to the to our program. See Jimmy Johnson come over here, Chris Dunn, our former guys, my son, uh, those guys. That, that's what it's about. It's about those kids. Those are That's what the game's all about, the kids. Well, tonight, uh, Lawrence hit 7 of 12 on threes in the first half, and I think you only held them the, the one there in the third quarter when you made a run. What would Justin's you guys made it to have? Well, Number one, our transition defense was, was putrid, you know, no communication, guys jogging back, uh, Christmas tournament hangover, um, and then we decided we are going to defend in the second half. We went a little 2-3 zone to start the third period just to slow them down. That team's so talented, and once they get it going, they got great rhythm. We wanted to try to take them out of their rhythm. We trapped them a little bit half court just to slow them down. Uh, no, and no one could shoot like they shot in the first half. I mean, they really shot the ball well. And uh, we gutted it out, which, which I'm proud of. Well, the way uh, Connor Miranda and, and uh, Ryan O'Connell came out in the third quarter. <laughs> if I can get the other three guys to play yeah. with those two guys, we'll win a state title. Simple as that. And I'm talking on the defensive end solely. If I can get the other three guys to play like those two guys on the defensive end, we could win a state title. I mean that. Like, those two guys, are just they haven't taken a playoff since they've been in this program. They haven't taken a playoff defensively. Our other guys, they take a playoff like, you know, every third or fourth play. And that's what we got to do. We just we got to go play end over defense, you know. Cool. Pretty quick. Hey, look at the first half, a lot of turnovers going on. You guys come out third quarter. It just seems like it was just a totally different team. What was the biggest thing that you focused on halftime and you know, emphasizing to you guys? I think we had 13 turnovers. Uh, we gave up eight offensive rebounds. All the things that we preach just it was like a different team out there. You know, I, I think with the distractions of Christmas time and vacation and not being on that, that set schedule, I think that's totally, you know, affected how we played. And at the end of the day, you just tell the kids, it's, it's, there's no X and O adjustment. It's just caring. It's about, it's about representing for your team and for your teammates and, and trying. You know, just try to talk, try to get back. And uh, So I don't want to be too negative. I'm, you know, I'm proud of our kids. Sign of a good team is when you don't play your best, you still come out and you still get a win. And the best way to learn is by winning and, and learning, not losing and learning. So I'm good with that. Went real quickly, and the yeah. guys really were able to attack the uh, the paint in the second mm -hmm. half. It seemed like you guys had a lot of success there. Was that the key coming out, or was it just something that as the game progressed on, well, you guys were able to? Yeah, they're keep going scrappy, well? so they'll double team you in the post. You, you got to get Connor on quick scores because once if you get him in there and. And uh, he hesitates for that one second. They'll double team him, top end, bottom. They'll kind of pancake him. So we try to get like little slash, slash cuts where he could score quick and get it in there. Uh, and then Connor again was just immense inside, uh, and he continues to lead us. And just got to get everybody else on board.